Hello and welcome guys. Today we will understand about the shift empty message structure and all the blocks which are involved in the swift messages that is the block from block one to block five so uh, basically the swift messages all the swift messages basically have this uh, five uh, blocks in it when you create or when you receive in terms of the bank or when you send it you'll have these five blocks available in those swift messages so we will understand one by one each blocks in detail so let's get started. The first one is basic header block. So the basic header block uh, uh, basically starts uh, with one, uh, which will be always one, which determines the block ID as I have mentioned in uh, with respect to A. So then it comes uh, the, the F, uh, which means the application ID. Uh, F stands for financial. A for GPA and L for GPA login, etc. C, I mean, after F, uh, we have this 01 that determines the service ID, which basically uh, is 01 for financial or GPA and 21 for AC or NAC. Acknowledgement and uh, not acknowledged. Then we have this uh, LT address at the 12 characters. So these are nothing but the sender. Um, bigs uh, especially when we when it is in from the bank's perspective so it is a bank's big and then we have followed by the session number uh, it will be totally determined by the bank's perspective it will be uh, automatically fetched into the swift message so this is all about the basic header block and we have application header block so very much important to understand the application header block because uh, this determines whether the institute is available in the block is the sender institute or the receiver institute. So uh, first we will understand about the input to Swift, right? So block two input to Swift, application header block. So how do we determine uh, whether uh, it is input to Swift or output to Swift. That is very important to understand. So always in a block two, we will have this uh, input output identifier followed by uh, uh, before before that we have this block ID, which will be always two because it is a second block application block followed by this input output identifier. I stands for input, O stands for output. So I means it is input to Swift, right? So uh, when it is input to Swift, in that case, uh, the, the uh, in financial institute, which will be available in that, will be the receiver big, right? So this is a receiver big. It doesn't determine at all whether it will be the final beneficiary big or not. It totally it, it just determines that uh, this particular big will receive the Swift empty message, empty one zero three message. So uh, the block, uh, uh, after it determines the input output, right? Now uh, we have this uh, message type. Uh, it basically defines a swift empty message type, whether it be MT103, 202, uh, and then MT9, MT19, MT102, and so many, right? So it determines the swift message type. From here, you'll understand that this message is a swift message of this type. Followed by the 12 character swift address, and this is the receiver's big. As I said, when the block two is I, that is input to Swift, then uh, the institute which will be available in block two will be always receiver's big. Very important to understand because many people get up, uh, misunderstood that block two can be a center. Yes, it can be a center, we will understand that. But whenever it is I in block two, that means the big available in block two is the one who will be receiving the Swift empty messages right and then we have followed by the message priority and message priority is defined basically in terms of system uh normal and then we have uh urgent so s stands for system that is uh from uh, bank to bank system to system sent uh, messages for example act knack right uh acknowledgement messages and uh and not acknowledged messages sent and 
uh, received from the SWIFT, right? And then N equals normal payment. Basically, banks have that uh, facility to initiate a transaction marking the payments as normal or urgent, right? So it, it is like that. And then next thing is delivery notification. So delivery notification is basically, you know, one for non-delivery warning. Delivery notification is a two and block uh, three one. Third three is both one and two. And that is how F is determined. Finally, this is uh, uh, ended with the obsolescence period when a non-delivery notification is generated. It is, uh, it is meant to be there. So this is all about application header block. So key takeover from here is uh, whenever the uh, whenever there is I as an input out, uh, input identifier, that means the big available in that particular block two will be the receiver big, and receiver big here means receiver institute in terms in terms of message and it is not the one who will be the final beneficiary it totally depends upon the block uh, four that is a text block right so moving ahead we have again application head block in terms of output from swift that means uh, when uh, the input output identifier is o right so in that case the institute available in this would be the sender spec right because it means uh, it is uh, out from the swift right and that is why we say uh, we need to understand that the big available in block two would be the uh, uh, sender spec so in that case in block one whoever institute is there right that will be the uh, receiver bit so that is the key takeover from this particular uh, application error block when there is a O marked as output and fire. So it is output from Swift. All right. Let's let's move ahead. And rest of it uh, again, as I said, like N uh, means normal, U means urgentness for a system, right? And there are like some other parameters involved. The input time and, and e itself there will be input time message input reference number for its messages there will be a reference number and then followed by output date and output time and then finally the priority the next block uh, in the swift messages will be user header block so now user header block uh, again uh, it starts with the block id always three uh, and then we'll have this bank priority code. So each bank will have a priority code. So 113 is, for example, that it can be 119, 117, totally depends on the banking perspective. And then we have this message user reference, uh, which is available uh, and used by the applications for the reconciliation with acknowledgement. For each message, there is some reference and it will be used for the reconciliation at the end of the day. The last one, which is very important to understand, and the key takeover from this user header block is, uh, it will have, it will define these uh, message subtype. You know, we will, we can have some messages with subtypes. For example, MT two zero to cover, and COV determines whether this message is cover payment or not. So similarly, uh, STP uh, MT one zero three plus, right? So we write STP here in block three for MT103 plus. And that is how we determine this is STP payment for MT103 and cover for MT202 cover. So this is all about the user help block. Moving ahead. Moving ahead, the main part of the uh, any Swift messages is basically the text block. The entire information, majority of the information would be available here. As I said already, uh, this 20 would be there, which is mandatory. Right. For example, in MT103, I have taken it. So this is a part of a text block. I mean, uh, this is part, this is a text block of a MT103 message where we have 20 as mandatory tag, which is transaction reference number, 23B, which is a bank operation code, and then 32A, which is a value date currency and the interbank settlement amount, 33B, which, which is nothing but the instructed amount. 50k is the ordering customer details basically the account number followed by the name and address of the uh, uh, customer or the organizer who is sending this uh, payment 52a uh, 
again, you know, very uh, mandatory again, you know, which is the ordering institution, the basically the institution from which the customer has initiated a transaction, it, uh, it will have this big. Then we have uh, uh, 59 big, before that we would have this 57 uh, account with institution. And then in 59, you have this uh, beneficiary details with account number and uh, name and address of those customer. 70A, bank to bank uh, uh, information, remittance information perhaps. 71A, then again, you know, charge type and 71F would be your uh, charge amount for uh, which is currency and the most. And finally, it will close with a close plus packet. And this is all about the text block. Finally, we have a trailer block which ends a message. A message always ends in a trailer with the following format. It contains a number of fields that are denoted by a keyword such as MAC. So Mac determines the message authenticated code calculated based on the entire contents of the message using a key that has been exchanged with the destination and a secret algorithm. PD, possible duplicate emission, added if user thinks that they may have sent messages previously, right? So, and PDM, possible duplicate, possible duplicate messages, added by the Swift if when, they, if when the message is sent for the second time deliberately, yeah? And DLM, uh, stands for delivery monitoring added by Swift if on urgent, if an urgent or normal message has not been delivered within 15 or 100 minutes basically. So these are the few uh, code words used in the trailer block to determine in the Swift message. So let us take one of, uh, example of uh, MT103, understanding each block explicitly. So this is one example, if you see here, the first uh, block uh, is nothing but our basic header block. The second block is our application header block. See here in, in, in second block, I is there. That means it is input to Swift. That means this particular big BNPA FR, right? So uh, this particular bank is nothing but the receiver big of the message. Again, I say, I, I always uh, focus on this word, always I say that this is the one who will be receiving the message, but not there's, there isn't surety that this is the uh, beneficial bank. It totally determines from uh, 57A. In this case, uh, this particular bank is the final uh, beneficial institute, fin uh, account with institutes. Basically, this is a uh, the big receiver bank. Then we have this user header block followed by this text block, which is the main part of the body. And then finally, trail block. So, with some information. So this is all about Swift message structures, all the blocks, and we'll come back with new videos with uh, different understanding on the Swift payment side. Thank you for watching videos, guys.